Hey, buddy. Surprise. Surprise, mamacita. Hey. Surprise, Batman. Guess who brought a jet to a gunfight? Here coming. Boom! Come on, man. Surprise, boys. Surprise, horse lady. Not good. Zombies. Groovy. Rated M for mature. Pre order now and get the Nuketown 2025 bonus map and access to the double XP launch weekend. All right, guys, we're back, and uh, I just wanted to quickly talk about FPS Rush really quick. Now, this guy is a really cool guy. He's not a really famous celebrity like the rest of the people are in this trailer, but he's really famous on YouTube. He does a lot of those gun videos where he'll shoot guns and he'll blow up stuff, which is really cool. I'm subscribed to him. I watch a lot of his videos. I know a lot of YouTubers also watch him as well, and he gets a lot of views. Also, he has a lot of subscribers, so it's not you know unusual that he would be in a video like this. Also, if you guys want to go back to an annotation that I have on screen right now, or I'll put it in the description as well, it's a video where he's also wearing the same t-shirt, the same Tacitus t-shirt, and Tacitus has been, you know, a rumored thing that Call of Duty is going to be, be implementing. They were rumored to be, you know, the people making the technology, and there's been a website called Tacitus.com, or TacitusProject.com, I'm not exactly sure what it was, but it was just a huge rumor that Tacitus was going to be a huge gun manufacturer or a huge you know, electronics manufacturer, and it was just really mysterious about what Tacitus was. And from what I'm seeing here, I honestly think Tacitus is the type of company that makes these quadrotors because we haven't seen anything else labeled as Tacitus besides FPS Russia and the quadrotors, and whenever you see Tacitus with FPS Russia, he's got the quadrotors or he's talking about them. So I think that the quadrotors are the company or the type of something that relates to these quadrotor drones. Alright, next thing I want to talk about, which there really wasn't a lot to talk about on this trailer, but I just want to talk to you guys about this little scope thing. It's a little thing that you can see through walls with if the person is moving and they're, you know, it's a light surface. I don't think you can be able to see through the entire map with this thing because that would just be really overpowered. You can also see through smoke with it. So what I think happens in this trailer is there's some rubble or there's some smoke or something, and this guy shoots or snipes, I guess, if you, gotta, if you guys want to call it that shoots this tomahawk out of this lady's hand using the scope, which is really cool. It's I think it's a really cool thing that we're probably going to be seeing in the future and we'll definitely be seeing in this game. However, I'm afraid this could be used to be overpowered. Maybe it can see through a lot of, you know, hard surfaces that we wouldn't, you know, be able to shoot through normally unless you had, like, something like Impact, which is very difficult to do with Call of Duty. You know, adding all this stuff in could make some giant mistakes and really cause this game to be not really a flop, but definitely not as balanced as we think it could be. So thank you guys for watching, guys. My name is Smurf ADD. Hopefully I can survive this hurricane. If you guys could leave a like rating, that would be awesome. If you guys could subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this with Black Ops 2 multiplayer and zombies, that would also be really cool. You guys will also be getting a lot of info and tips and gameplay as soon as the game comes out. So make sure to subscribe for that. Also comment down below on what you thought of this little breakdown. I only broke down two things, but you know, stuff happens, and there's also a hurricane going on, and I'm afraid I'm going to die. So I'm out for now, guys. Peace out.